that was so good. I have another date planned. I'm going to knock someone's socks off this week with what I smell like, and I'm so ready for that moment. Say cheese. to another week in my life vlog it is sunday december 10th um i am at home i am having a really like deep adulting reset day i had planned on today being pretty chill because i saw the forecast was for rain and i've been kind of a busy body throughout this week um, and I did have a pretty busy-ish day yesterday. Let me not get too ahead of myself before I introduce myself for this vlog. If you're new here, my name is Alexandria. I am 33 years old. I live here in Brooklyn, New York. I work full-time in social media marketing during the day, and I am a content creator as well. I'm originally from South Florida, um, but I've lived in New York for most of like the last 10 years. Um, I make content about lifestyle here in New York, things I love like food and wine, dating, fitness. Um, I, I feel like there's a lot of fragrance content on here as well, which I'm gonna get into some today. Um, and yeah, excuse you, I just got an email. With that said, thanks so much for checking my channel out. If you like it here, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. I post videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, so you can check out some older vlogs and look forward to one coming next week as well. Um, like I said, yesterday was kind of a busy-ish day. Uh, it was Saturday. I got up, went to the gym. After I left the gym, came home, had breakfast and reset and everything. And I went to the Cooper Hewitt Design Museum, Smithsonian Museum um, on the Upper East Side on Museum Mile, right next to the Guggenheim. Um, I wanted to go see the Es Devlin and Atlas of Es Devlin exhibit. Es Devlin, I did not know about before, like, I wanna say like maybe three, four weeks ago before I heard this piece on NPR about the exhibit. Um, and then come to realize like looking as I was getting ready to go and going through the exhibit yesterday I'm like I've literally been seeing this woman's work since like the the first part that I can really track is seeing watch the throne and what I think was like 2009 um, so yeah I've been seeing her work for the better part of like 15-ish years you know I just went to Renaissance in August and she did the stage design for that so if I haven't said that already as Devlin is a stage designer she started in um, like opera houses and things and she's probably designed um, some stage components for some of your favorite tours that you've either been to or witnessed during our time like immaculate work so that was really interesting to go to yesterday and then I thought I was gonna go to the new, like reopened Cafe Balloon, but I was wrong and they don't open until the 15th. So I can try to walk in after the 15th, but I was like, oh, let me pop in. And I ended up, I, I tried to pop in yesterday. They were closed, I realized. I went on their Instagram and I was like the 15th. I was like, oops, I already have a reservation on the books for them, but I was like, maybe I can try to go earlier, you know, as a walk-in, a little too early. Um, but yeah, I went to Union Square Cafe instead and had dinner there, um, just popped in and I was walking and they were able to get me at the upstairs bar and they have like an awesome prefix. So I enjoyed that. Um, but on my way, I was walking kind of from Museum Mile down to 63rd. I took like one train stop down and then I walked the rest of the way. But on my way, I walked past the Madison Avenue um, Frederick Mall, Edison's Department Store is right there on Madison Avenue. 
And I wasn't gonna pop in because I just got a perfume when I got my annual review. I got a raise, I got a good review. And I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to a little perfume. And I was saying to myself, my next perfume would probably be from Fujaya because um, I wanna replace some of the fragrances I had from them. I was like, I don't need to go in there, whatever, whatever. And I walk past the window and I see they're like passing around glasses of bubbly and there's snacks in there. I'm like, what the hell they got going on in there? I need to be in there. So I walk in and um, yeah, they were having a holiday event for their VIPs. Apparently I'm not a VIP, I didn't get an email, but you know, they were very, they were beyond hospitable to me. They are always amazing whenever I go into any of their stores, any of the boutiques, um, it's always a great experience. And I met another one of the associates who had been with the company for a really long time. And yeah, we got to muse over the fragrances, have a little bit of bubbly. Sorry, I just got another email. Um, have a little bit of bubbly. I enjoyed like these little chocolate dip madeleines. Um, and I also got some samples that I have right here. So this is the store bag. They have this beautiful red branding. EDP is Editions de Parfum and the FM is Frédéric Mal. I will always evangelize not only about the excellence of the fragrances that are coming out of EDP, but also the great service and the beautiful design. <laughs> um, it's just a great experience. Um, and they were like, can I get you any samples? And mind you, I, like I said, you saw, if you've been watching the vlogs when I went and got um, my new perfume and I've been wearing the heck out of it, I got some samples, but I got some samples of Portrait of a Lady, which is one of their most classic fragrances. But I feel like I need to give these away. They gave me like four. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, hold on, let me stack them up. Let's see, there's, the packaging is so beautiful. Like, so beautiful, but yeah. Um, they gave me like four samples in this cute little bag and they were like, do you want any more sparkling? Do you want any more snacks? Please get comfortable. It's just, it was so serendipitous because I wasn't planning on going there. I literally was about to walk by and I was like, let me see what's going on in here. Um, so yeah, that was a really beautiful and nice experience. Nice to be, you know, somewhat treated unexpectedly by a brand that I'm pretty loyal to. Um, but yeah, love that. That's living in New York. You just pop into stuff like that. It's, it's a magical place. That's what's going on this Sunday. I am going to start editing next week's vlog. The new vlog just went up. And then next week, I don't really have a lot planned. I have I have another date planned. I have some in-office days. I have to help lead an AI workshop on Tuesday at work. Um, and then outside of that, I think I'm gonna try to stay home from the office most days just because I wanna be able to still go out and enjoy myself, but I don't wanna do too much with going into the office too when like those trains are so crowded during rush hour in the morning. I don't wanna get sick. I, I cannot stress this enough. I do not wanna get sick. The last two years, either the week of Christmas or the week after Christmas into New Year, I have been sick with COVID. Those are the only two times I got COVID and I rebuke it. Like I don't get sick very frequently and I am really championing myself to be very careful and not get sick. I just, this time of the year, it is very risky and stress can be high. Your immunity can be lowered. It's important. I'm like, I'm already going to the gym and stuff. Let's just, let's just cool it. So yeah, this week I don't have a ton of stuff on the social calendar. I'll see what's coming up. There's like a Kwanzaa crawl, like a holiday black owned shop that's going on next weekend. So I'll take a look at some things that I've pinned on Instagram. I have this thing that I call Urban Agenda because when I first lived here years ago, my friends and I started like a, like what's going on in New York page and we called it, I, I called it the Urban Agenda. Um, and we would just like repost from other pages to help them promo and stuff like that. But we quit it a long time ago, but now I have a pin board on Instagram that I call Urban Agenda and I pin stuff that's like goings on that I might be interested in. So yeah, I'll figure out what we're doing for the rest of the week, but today, Rest of the day is going to be chill. I'll probably pick this up tomorrow morning with a Monday morning workout at the gym. So I'll see y'all then. Hello, it is Tuesday. I'm kind of running late, but I had to get a coffee. I'm very close to the office. They asked us to be there by like 9 45 ish so i think i'm gonna make it on time um it's like 9 40 right now and i'm like five minutes away so that works that checks out 
Um, I got the Arabica maple latte. They have like a seasonal latte. I usually get the Spanish latte, but switched it up this morning. I filled up my punch card, so I didn't have to pay for it, but I wanted to leave them a tip, so I ended up buying a croissant anyway. Just can't, can't avoid it one way or another. Um, so yeah, I'm almost at the office and I will check in with y'all later. Alrighty, made it into the office. Workshop is done and they opened in Italy, like right down the street from my office. So I'm doing a little work in person side quest to there. And then I'm gonna head back to Brooklyn. I won't be back in office for the rest of the year just so I can, you know, chill out, ease into the last work week. And yeah, I'll be back in the office in the new year. Wednesday, December 13th. I'm headed to the gym. It's like in the 30s outside. It's pretty chilly. I'm usually walking in the other direction coming from the gym at this hour. Um, so we could see the sunrise now, but back that way, beautiful sky. This way, beautiful me. Um, there's a car coming. It is Wednesday, December 13th, 7 a.m. I am late to working out, but I'm going. So, you know, I'm not that worried that I didn't make it here by six. Body felt like I needed a little bit more rest. I'm still making it here. Um, like I said, yesterday was my last day in office for the year. So no more office days. Wednesdays are usually an at-home day anyway, but I'm about to get in this gym and I think I'm gonna do sprints and some more leg work pardon me <laughs> morning um, a little bit more leg work and then get out of there and get ready for work for the day so check in with you soon workout is done heading back home to get ready for work it is such a nice day. I think it's just like a high of 43 today, but I'm of course just worked out and I'm in a parka, so I can say that. Let's look at the sunshine now. Like it was just coming up. Woo! It was just coming up when I was going and now it's like fully out. I love this little walk. Like makes going to the gym so much better. Look at this. That's it. That's why we get up early. Um, yeah, nothing much to report. Today I'm working from home. Got a lot of stuff to do. Um, oh, I'm supposed to go on another date tonight, but it is contingent on his work finishing on time. But let's keep our fingers crossed. Hello. It is now Thursday, December 14th. I am walking back home from grabbing a coffee and running to a little grocery store around the corner or up the street or whatever to grab some avocados uh, for my breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use them today, but just to have while I was out. You guys, I am, I'm not as, no, I'm still tired. I'm still tired, I have to say um yesterday was on wheels i didn't get much after i went to the gym yesterday morning and i don't know if it's because like my hormones changed my period's about to start or because i did tea instead of coffee yesterday or i did sprints in the morning yesterday it could be all of these things but my energy was so zapped yesterday i went to bed so early and didn't even wake up still slept till like seven this morning so i don't know Okay, so if you can't tell, I live right down the street from a very industrial part 
of Bushwick and it's really nice sometimes to see like people doing like actual work not that I don't do work but whatever doing that type of work here um but yeah I don't know what was making me so tired but I took my rest I feel a little bit better for it I woke up this morning I did not like how under my eyes looked but I was like it's fine it's fine I think I was just a little bit grumpy already when I woke up and I was just like look what was I grumpy about I feel like I was thinking about something either way I took my rest and I'm feeling like I'm having a good start to the morning. So we're just going to roll with that thing theme. That's the narrative. We're sticking to it. I have my last client presentation of the year today. And then this week into next week, we're kind of just tying up loose ends. It's pretty quiet. That's good because I feel like my energy and my mind is like, we'll regroup next year. So I just want to ease into the end of the work year next week and then take the time off to really enjoy myself rest up start the new year on a right foot take some time to do the things that i want yeah and kiss 2023 goodbye but we got a couple more weeks a little bit more time so i'm gonna go in get on my first meeting get this deck ready for our client call and then keep the day rolling oh and i need to make breakfast or order breakfast it's feeling like order breakfast. It's feeling very much like that. <laughs> Friday. Well, it's Friday now in this moment while I'm filming. Friday, December 15th. I am up. It is so sunny and actually supposed to hit the mid 50s today. But um, I got up this morning and got a great workout in. Actually, it was a pretty chill workout this morning. But I'm, you know, been doing this frequently and consistently enough to where like my mind has kind of switched like I feel like I've hit this point where like it's so normalized to me and it's also become more of like a pleasurable experience I think having the physical gym outside of my building's gym has really made a big difference you know my mind has kind of made that switch from I don't have to go I can sleep in and trying to find those days and to having the days where I'm like I don't have to sleep in I would, I'd rather go to the gym you know even if I don't have a plan I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do you know I haven't been movement starved um, and I'm gonna have time to go over the weekend or whatever and just like being in the habit of going so yeah over the weekend I have a couple things going on I think today I'm gonna go out take you all just like on a couple of little shopping errands with me I want I've been wanting to go to Lush for a bit so I think I'm gonna go to Lush hold on I wrote this all down because I write everything down um, I want to go to Lush. I want to go to Dayglow to buy some coffee. I want to go to Trader Joe's and I may go to Sephora and Fujaya to like think about some fragrance. <laughs> um, I know I just got a new perfume and I got some samples last week, but the Fujaya fragrances have been on my mind. And then there's a Killian fragrance that they have like a perfume, like a purse spray size of. So you don't have to like commit to like the whole big bottle. Um, at Sephora, they have the different Killian ones and I like their good girl, good girl gone bad. And I must say, it always surprises me when people are like, oh, Rihanna was wearing Love Don't Be Shy because I just, I can't believe she wore that. I can't believe she wore that. But Good Girl Gone Bad, Good Girl Gone Bad is literally like her brand, like her theme and a lot of her music, right? When she was still making music. So I'm like, why wouldn't she wear Good Girl Gone Bad? Because also Good Girl Gone Bad is the more superior and more refined and more like layered and really beautiful fragrance in my opinion. Either way, I love Good Girl, Good, Good Girl Gone Bad. I also love Angel Share, but I feel like the girls are really wearing that out, my God. But it's really good. Um, so yeah, that, uh, I'm gonna go out and do that today. Well, I don't know about the fragrance part. It, it's up in the air, it's up in the air. You know, I'm, I'm constantly fighting treat yourself energy. Um, or am I embracing it? You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that today while it's nice out as soon as I get these two decks delivered and just take it easy. And like, I'm really feeling great that I had a really good client review yesterday. I'm sending out these last two decks and I'm helping out with another project next week with my team. But my main work stream that I truly own at work is kind of wrapping up today. So for the year. So 
I'm very excited about that and feel like I can just exhale and enjoy the rest of this day. I feel like I should be done by one. Oh my gosh, it's 12. It's about to be 12.30 already. Either one. So yeah, that's going on. I haven't been having as much as a, a social calendar because I've been seeing someone. And um, with that, I'm just like, I've been seeing someone. So the objective of like going out to meet more people, especially while it's colder and work is still going when I want it to have stopped. Um, I'm not as motivated to like constantly be going out. But to be quite honest, like even mid last week when I was going to like the wine tasting and stuff, I was still going out. I went to an exhibit that wasn't like a social social event, but like I'm outside, you know, this weekend I'm supposed to go on a date to this um, to like live jazz somewhere here in the neighborhood. And then on Sunday, I have a date with Rose. We're going to go to RH guest house. Surprise, surprise. I promise I will eat somewhere else. I will take y'all somewhere else. I promise. I promise. I need to. I need to put that on my doc. I do eat other places. I order in, I eat other places. I cook, all that good stuff. Oh, and that's why I got on here because I just did a very adult thing and I'm very proud of myself. I've been putting this off for a month, like over a year, right? So I changed jobs in September of 2022. I just rolled out, started the rollover for my 401k. I just started the rollover for my 401k. Now I've continued to watch it and monitor it. It's been doing good, but I like forfeited quite a bit of money because part of it wasn't vested but in my new one it's 100% vested it's 100% vested except like with the match you know like well yeah it's 100% vested I've already started my 401k at my new place um but I just started the rollover to it from my last job today and it was actually pretty painless I did that today and I'm very proud of myself for doing things you know, my style of adulting, I always say, is that I do things begrudgingly. I complain the whole time, but I get it done. And then I congratulate myself after, even though I had a bad mood. <laughs> you know, it's fine. It's like I may grumble and I may piss and moan, but I did it. I did it, okay? It's my thing to do, I did it. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I, I was so afraid and had telephone anxiety and put it off and put it off and put it off, but now it's done. Okay, we're gonna have to shorten the shopping trip a little bit because I still gotta go back and do some work, but I just finished at Trader Joe's, I got frozen fruit. Now I'm going to head to Whole Foods, Target, Lush, and then speed back home real quick. But Trader Joe's was jumping, as usual. December 16th. I am in the village. I got up a little later this morning, slept in, grabbed some coffee and came to Manhattan. And I was like, I need some like breakfast and I don't want to go to RH. I'm going there tomorrow. So I think I'm going to pop into Jeffrey's Grocery and see if I can get seated just walking in. It looks pretty chill. So we'll see how it goes. <music> Jeffrey's grocery was a success. Had a little bite to eat and a cocktail. I wasn't even gonna get a cocktail, but they had Fortaleza tequila. And it's so hard to come by. Like, it's hard to buy a bottle in store. It's hard to find in bars, but they had some, so I grabbed some. Oh, wow. Just, oh, I didn't even know they had an ordinary right here. It's loud right here, hold on. I am amazed right now because the weather it's december 16th okay. and it's in the 50s today it's like super warm which is crazy but also beautiful and everybody's out hold on so yeah everyone is out the sun is out i am basically having one of these new york days where it's like just go and see where the day takes you i thought i was going to um 
get up this morning, go to the gym, come back, grab some coffee, figure out breakfast, and then go to the pop-up shop in Brooklyn. But it was just a little bit out of my way. And I was like, you know, I'm not that committed to it. I don't think they're gonna have very many things that I want anyway. So this is what I'm doing. Um, um, currently, hold on. Let's see if I can cross the street. I'm currently making my way downtown walking fast to Fujaya. I just have a couple questions um, for them. I did not even realize this was a two-way street. I literally thought I was just waiting on the other side to, to go faster. Um, but yeah, actually, you know, I think I'm just gonna keep going on this side. I wanna walk down to Fujaya now and ask them and ask them about their smaller formats because you can order them online, like five different fragrances and like purse spray size, um, but they have to ship all the way from Milan and it takes a long time. And the last time I was there, they were like, we do those in store. So I was like, do you? But what I really wanna know is do you have to get all five or can you select like a couple or an individual one? Cause if I can do that, that's even better. A small formats on perfume is like a really key way to have some variation and some really good stuff so i'm gonna see if i can make that happen getting kind of warm might have to come out of this jacket but luckily it's not like too too hot so yeah i am just seeing so many places i never even walk by The answer to my question about doing an individual sample and the 5ml at Fujaya, um, if you were wondering, is no. You have to do all five. I did all five. So I'm going to um, maybe make one more grocery stop and then swiftly head home because uh, I'm, I'm grounded. <laughs> I don't need to spend no more money. None. I got Christmas gifts to buy still. Um, let's go this way by the new Italy. Um, you know, I'm gonna smell great and I'm gonna feel so good. I already feel good about this purchase. Um, I just know that there are some other purchases that I won't be making throughout the week, you know? So yeah, that happened. I'm very delighted. I love new fragrance. I love smelling good. I'm trying some new stuff and replenishing some things that I missed wearing. Um, and I'm going to knock someone's socks off this week with what I smell like and I'm so ready for that moment you know it's worth it beyond worth it I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my time out in the city and make my way back home I just left the gym the blink around the corner from my house what else is new um and I'm about to shower and get ready to go meet my friend Rose for brunch but before I do that I wanted to show you all the results of my last couple days of like doing a little bit of light shopping and just kind of refilling some things on Friday I had every intention of being able to sign off early and then like I think I mentioned like a bunch of places that I wanted to run um I feel like I got more of that done yesterday and kind of split it up between the days so on Friday I did make it to Lush and I got two bubble bars but I got a sleepy which is one of their like pretty popular um like relaxing bedtime lavender type scents i got a sleepy bubble bar i'm going to use that one for two i think that was just really big so i think that'll work for two baths and then i got a this isn't a sunny side i think this is called cloudy skies or blue skies or something like that and i've used this like i've used lush bubble bars i swear by them for a good nice warm bubble bath with like really luxurious bubbles love 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 lush bubble bars so I got two of those for myself. I also went to, um, I went to Dayglo yesterday. I got a Warhol as usual, but I saw that they had this Christmas roast or Christmas blend from this brand called Fritz. I love Fritz coffee, they're really good. They're not found everywhere, but some specialty co um, coffee shops here have them. I bought some other beans from them before that were like produced by them before, but I just thought this Christmas packaging was like so cute and I needed coffee to roast at home. But it comes with a little card. It says to Santa inside. Oh wow, and it has just like information about it. Uh, it has some tasting notes and everything. So cute. 
Tasting notes, blackberry, brown sugar, cacao notes, black currant jam, pomegranate. Ooh, very festive. It's from Costa Rica, 40, uh, so 45% from India and 55% from Costa Rica, okay? I got some more vitamin C from the Woo Woo shop that I love. Um, I always buy Health Force Nutritionals vitamin C. It's made from acerola cherries, camu camu, and amla, so all food derived, pretty bioavailable. And I like to put this in my smoothies, um, especially as I mentioned last week, I'm trying not to get sick. Um, Pumpkin Village, Vermont raw honey. I was trying to find some local honey. I have agave that I make my coffee with, but I've been making tea more. Um, additionally, try not to get sick. And I was saying I wanted to make some fire cider. I don't think I would make fire cider with this type of honey, but if I were just to make like a little tincture of some sort, I would want to use some honey. Um, that's good during the season when you're really trying to like fight off all those cooties. Uh, and then yesterday I mentioned this while I was out shopping in Soho, um, that I wanted to go to Fujaya and see if I could just get, hold on, what was that? If I could just get one of these 5ml fragrances, I just want to put this on so I can show you all what it looked like. So I got all five 5mls um, from Fujaya, and it's a set of five units, 5ml perfumes. This is their Vita Cora de Composition. It is basically a way that you can try five cents. They give you the card breakdowns of all of the fragrances. Actually, it's called Fugia. I keep saying Fugia, but I think it's pronounced Fugia. They're like a Brazil, uh, Patagonian brand that uses like all raw materials and everything. But um, I got the La Hobinoche, Malabrigio, Yaken, and Fougere. Um, and then I also got uh, the uh, Fugia Gabriella Hurst. New York fragrance. Um, so Gabriella has, has branched out into fragrances. I went and smelled it like a couple months ago. It has a really apple-y, woodsy, great fragrance. Wait, it, they didn't give me the card for this, which really sucks. The Fougere, it is fig, pet, uh, petite grain, and rosewood. I've never had that one before. Yakin, this is one, this is my favorite from um, Fugaya. What, what did I just say? This is my favorite one from Fujia. Fujia, I'm gonna try to say it right. Um, this is my favorite fragrance room. I have never smelled anything like this. It's not that I haven't smelled anything as good as this. I've never smelled anything as good as this like this, and it's just so intoxicating to me. Um, I'm not gonna wear it today, but I needed to have it. And then the Malabrigio and the La Jovenoche. The La Jovenoche, I feel like has a little bit more Palo Santo smell to it. And then the Malabrigio, like, it like rounds it out. They just work perfectly together. And I have, these two have to go together. They have to go together, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what I got from Fukia. And then, um, tis the season, but I'm glad I let myself like enjoy and get these things. Um, they're gonna go to very good use. And yeah, the essentials as, ter as far as gifts go have been gotten except for my mom's but I know what she wants and I'm gonna get it for her. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm about to take a shower, get dressed. We'll go to brunch at RH with Rose and then see where the day takes us. It's not that beautiful outside, so I don't think we're gonna do too much more. Um, and then wrap this vlog up and that'll be it. And we'll get into my last week at work. We got four days. I have very little to do, so I'm hoping it'll be like super chill and then float right on into the holiday. this vlog off I am back home and I know I just got perfume yesterday but look this is what happened okay 
first of all, first things first, I'm back inside. It was a cloudy, rainy day today, but I had a really great time with Rose. We went to RH Guest House and had a little brunch, um, but around the corner from there is Killian. So we stopped in Killian and I have been in Killian a couple times and I have never made a purchase. I've gotten samples from Sephora. I've like bought the sampler packs from Sephora. I've gotten samples from the store. Um, I've taken friends in there who have gone to other locations. Like my friend Lacey, I took her earlier this year in January. We had gone to RH Guest House for a brunch and then we went over to Killian and they gave us the whole experience and that's really the thing. They give you quite an experience there and everything there is just like, the fragrances are intoxicating and just so well made and yeah, either way, they got us today. So I took Rose in cause we were right across the street and she decided to do some and then she was like, she's gonna do the sampler pack and the guy was offering us some really great like extras and stuff. He was so amazing with like telling the story of everything and really presenting everything really beautifully. I couldn't resist. I just got perfume yesterday. But you know what? It is the season. I really love fragrance. And while I like joke, like honestly, I'm happy that I got myself these things and that, I, and that I'm able to. Um, so I'll just show you what I got. So we split one of the sampler packs um, and... I love Straight to Heaven. The story with Straight to Heaven to me is I was working in Cafe Belude in South Florida uh, like maybe six, seven years ago or something like that. And a gentleman came and sat at the bar and I was like, you smell absolutely fantastic. What are you wearing? And he couldn't remember it for a second, which is so funny because I kept forgetting the name of this today, but he had on Straight to Heaven and he smelled oh, just intoxicating. I still remember it and this fragrance is amazing and it is my favorite um, from Killian. Uh, but I love some of their other fragrances as well and one that they do carry, they don't carry Straight to Heaven at Sephora as far as I know. But one that they do carry that I like is The Good Girl Gone Bad and I got a sample of that but he also introduced us to Musk Butterfly or Butterfly Musk or Butterfly Mascara. I forget what it's called. What is this? Did he mark it? Oh, no, 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 no. I got a little carafe of Good Girl Gone Bad, but he helped us really blend with the butterfly mascara or musk, and that really, that really changed the game. It's meant to be a layering fragrance, and that's what's in here. I got some little sample vials. Um, so they're all like smaller formats, but I would rather have variety in smaller formats than to have one single fragrance in a larger format. And then Love Don't Be Shy, which is apparently what Rihanna wore. It's kind of marshmallowy candy for my say, for my um, taste. And then this is, this is, um, oh my gosh, Fire Hot or fire, something, something along those lines. But he did, he had to make these samples for me. So some fire, fire is it Fire Hot? Spicy. I see how, something like that something about heat either way that's what I got at <laughs> Killian today like I really like I said I'm happy I'm able to get this for myself but like I was like no I'm fine we can walk in there it's no harm no harm no foul have you met yourself do you not know yourself exactly so I'm back here I'm about to eat my last little meal and start my intermittent fast watch some YouTube videos I'm really excited that today's vlog is doing really well so thank you thank you thank you guys if you're watching these consistently I really appreciate it if you're sharing it with other people I really appreciate it um, if you're new here once again as a reminder my name is Alex short for Alexandria I am originally from South Florida I'm a New York City transplant I live here in Brooklyn um, I work full-time in social media marketing but I'm also a content creator based in New York City lifestyle content creator I love all things olfactory so fragrance, wine, great food. Um, I talk about fitness on this channel as well as dating and the goings on of New York City, being social, all the good things that I'm interested in and anything else that, you know, catches my eye. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want more, you can go back and watch some older videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post videos every Sunday at 
10 a.m. With that said, I will see you all next week at 10 a.m. sharp. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.